Hi there. Thanks for joining us for another Autonomy User Guide tutorial. In this video, we will discuss the importance of AAC and practice using messages to communicate on Autonomy. Let's get started. From the main menu, select Messages. Quick insight here, we are using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to access the system simulating touch. However, as with all autonomy apps, programs, and controls, any input method can be used. Sip and puff, voice, eye gaze, switch scan, it's all up to the user. As always, our side panel containing navigation controls, stop inputs, nurse call, master volume, and phone access is visible on the left. The side panel also has some new options that we'll explore later. The Messages app on Autonomy assists users with communication and is just a piece of the speech generation or AAC, augmentative and alternative communication, puzzle. AAC apps like Messages on Autonomy allow individuals who have lost their ability to speak to communicate using predetermined phrases, a keyboard, and a computer generated or enhanced voice. Let's dive in. First, we'll explore some of the predetermined phrases. Select Greetings. Here, we can see a list of generic greetings along with some personal ones. Let's start with hi. Select hi. Hi. The system used the computer-generated voice to speak the phrase. Sidebar, for more information on customizing your autonomy device's voice, check out our autonomy user guide, Settings, and fast forward to about 15 minutes and 20 seconds in the video. Now, let's say we'd like to add a personal greeting that isn't available yet. First. We'll select chat from the side panel. You'll notice the last phrase used is visible at the top of the screen. Let's select speak. Hi. Pretty cool. This is what I like to call a convenience nugget. It helps us pick up where we left off in the conversation easily when switching between the messages and chat apps. Now, select clear. And let's type our new personal greeting. We can type using the keyboard on screen, or if you have a Bluetooth keyboard like I do, that will also work. Okay, we've typed our personal greeting. Now, let's play around a bit. Select speak. Hi, my name is Erica. The computer generated voice just spoke our phrase. Cool. Now, what if we want to save this personal greeting to our Messages app? Select Save to Messages. Now select Greetings. And there it is. Select Hi, my name is Erica. Hi, my name is Erica. Great. Now, what if we don't like that phrase anymore? Maybe it's too formal and doesn't sound like us. Select Remove at the top of the screen. Now select, hi, my name is Erica. Our phrase has been removed. The add and remove buttons allow us to create phrases we know we will use and discard the ones that don't suit our personality or the way we express ourselves. Okay, let's see what the bank phrase button is all about. Select bank phrase from the side panel. Phrase or message banking is a great way for autonomy users who still have the ability to speak, but their prognosis may include the loss of verbal communication eventually to record personal messages in their own voice and use them later. Let's give it a try. Once again, our most recent phrase is already typed in the communication bar. Let's record our personal greeting in our own voice and bank it for later. Select next. This page gives us the option to choose how long we think it will take us to speak the message we'd like to record. This phrase will probably take about three seconds to speak. Select three seconds. This is the recording page. We can see that our microphone is working because the green bar at the bottom is moving. We'll follow the prompts on the screen and select start recording. Hi, my name is Erica. Did you see the timer in the middle of the screen? Did you notice the edge of the screen turn green when the system was ready to record? Before we play our message back, let's check out the recording process again. Select Redo. Now, when we record our message this time, pay close attention to the timer at the center of the screen that says starting in three. 
When that timer gets to zero, the edge of the screen will turn bright green, letting us know the system is ready to record. Select Start Recording. Hi, my name is Erica. All right, now let's see how we did. Select Review to play back the recording. Hi, my name is Erica. Awesome. Now let's save this recording for later. Select Save. Now our greeting is saved to the message banking app on our autonomy. But can we use it in our chat and messages apps? Let's find out. Select Main Menu. Select Chat. Our phrase is already in the communication bar. What if we selected Speak? Hi, my name is Erica. The computer generated phrase has been replaced by our recording. Now, select Save to Messages. Select Greetings. It's been added, but will it be our recorded voice? Select Hi, my name is Erica. Hi, my name is Erica. It worked! Time for a super user secret. Now that we've created this recording, the autonomy system will create shortcuts for us, making it easier to communicate quickly. But Erica, easier? No way. Yes way. I'll show you. Select chat from the side panel. We'll clear this message. And we'll type my name, Erica. Select speak. Hi, my name is Erica. Ta-da! When an autonomy user records or banks a phrase, our specialized AAC technology will pull those phrases and use the recordings when keywords have been typed into the chat keyboard. For instance, I know that I have recorded a message calling my mom's dog, Wally. I'll type Wally into the communication bar. Select speak. Let's go, Wally. There it is, our recording. Something to keep in mind, in both of these examples, I capitalized the names in the titles of the recordings. So when I typed the names into the communication bar, I had to use the capitalization of E and W for the system to recognize the keyword. If I were to type Erica, the system would not recognize the word as it is associated with the recording and would use the computer generated voice. Let's try it. Erica. See, my suggestion would be to choose to either always capitalize or never capitalize and stick to your decision. Little secret, most autonomy users do not worry about capitalization and stick to using lowercase letters all the time. Besides, it's not like your third grade English teacher is grading you on this. Now that you've seen all the cool features in the messages app, we'll head back for a few more basics. Select go back and go back again. We'll dive into medical questions. Here, we can see a list of phrases we may want to use to communicate with healthcare professionals with topics including our diagnosis, who is providing care, and scheduling follow-up appointments. If there's a phrase you think you won't use and you'd like to keep the page tidy, just select remove, then the message you'd like to delete. If you select remove by accident, you can exit the mode by selecting remove again. Maybe we've discussed our medications and now we need to discuss how we feel. Select go back. This takes us back to the group of phrases within the messages app. Select personal care. We can navigate through the messages using the page buttons at the top. I think we've got the hang of this. If you'd like more information on our other AAC and speech generation apps, check out our tutorials, Autonomy User Guide, Chat, and Autonomy Update, Upgrade to Message Banking. All Autonomy User Guide tutorials can be found under the Resources tab of our website. Remember, as our software updates to improve your experience, some features may change. If you have questions, contact our support team. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Curious about Autonomy's other features? Connect with us by calling our office directly at 800-933-8400.
or visiting our website, accessibilityservices.com. That's A-C-C-E-S-S-I-B-I-L-I-T-Y services.com. Autonomy, independence made better.